What is your favorite memory about IOM? Um, that must be the graduation and uh, yeah, most of the classes during my, during my masters, but the graduation was one of the, if not the most emotional day in my life so far. What are the strong features of the Master in Luxury Management program you graduated from five years ago? Uh, five years ago, time flies, but it was really the network that we built. So I'm still in touch with all the people that, I'm, uh, that I used to study with. I'm in touch with the professors when it comes down to professional questions that I have still nowadays. So it is the broad network that you build up. Before studying the Master in Luxury Management program, you graduated with a bachelor's degree from IUM2. Why have you decided to continue your studies at IUM? Well, technically, when I entered for the bachelor, I had already in mind that I want to do the master's at IUM. So it was a very easy decision for me to go ahead and do, do the master's. And I always had a very in, big interest in the luxury industry, especially the economical part of the industry. Always triggered me and uh, was a big interest of mine. So yeah, it was just logical for me then to enter the master's as well. What are you doing now? Uh, I'm a founder of a private jet company now in Germany and uh, yeah, it's a company that is revolutionizing uh, the private jet industry by offering investments in terms of private jets but also yeah, taking care of uh, high net worth individuals as well as... How did you end up working in this Uh Well, there was a lot of pressure during my masters to get a job. Everyone was so fighting for a job and who's going to be the first one to get it? So, um, yeah, I, I applied everywhere in LinkedIn and all of a sudden a company approached me and said, well, you live in Monaco, you work in the luxury industry, would you mind working in the private jet industry? And obviously, uh, during the masters, focusing on the luxury industry, hearing a job offer for the private jet industry was just a, dr a dream coming true. So it was just logical and I was, I was over the moon happy. So yeah, that's how I ended up, thanks to the masters. What do you like the most in your current job and in this industry? It's the flexibility in my job because I can travel all the time. I meet super interesting people. Um, you meet uh, football players, politicians, very wealthy CEOs. So the, the, the variety of people that I work with at the same time, the endless uh, possibilities to change the business, change the industry, it's, it's amazing. In your opinion, what are the skills needed to work with the ultra high net worth individuals? Um, I think it's grit. So grit meaning being very consistent, very professional, very focused and very eager to do every day a bit better because those people have the highest standards. They don't, they don't accept anything less but the best. So you have to really be constantly focused, be very well aware of how they do their job, how they get, got so successful that they can afford such luxury and um, yeah. That's how, that's how I do it at least, and it seems to work pretty well. Any advice to students who would like to enter in the luxury private aviation? Yeah, determination. I think the grit and determination I would, would be the key words, because the private jet industry is it's, it's like a city that never sleeps. The customer can call you in the middle of the night, you must work in the middle of the night. Things like that happen, and you constantly being faced to a changed environment, constantly changing issues and so you need to have a massive determination to do better every single day and that's what I would recommend students to, to work on that and uh, yeah just try and keep a focus on, a, on, a, on an issue because issues will always arise um, but the quicker and the better you take care of them the better you will handle them in the future. What's uh, your favorite place in Monaco? The university. <laughs> I don't know I haven't been here for so long. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha